Morning, Steve from Seaside Allotment. So I wasn't planning to do very much on Jenny's plot today. Just thought I'd pop in, do a bit of watering. But uh, unfortunately, pigeons. So I had to do some remedial action. And there we go. I wasn't planning to do any nets on this plot. I was just planning to use uh, soil bacteria spray to keep off the uh, caterpillars. But unfortunately, the pigeons had uh, something to say about that. And uh, so I had to put some emergency netting on. Because as you can see, pigeons have done a bit of pecking. And just caught it in time. I think these plants will recover no problem at all. But uh, now at least they are protected. Unfortunately, I didn't have to buy anything. I had uh, a bit of netting free, and uh, Jenny and John had brought these little tiles down onto the plot, which were surplus to requirements. So I managed to use those, and the last of my uh, alkathene water piping, which I had no use for anyway. So uh, now I've got some use for it. It's not a particularly elegant job of netting but uh, it will serve a purpose for uh, a couple of months I guess at least. I cut the net in really big as well so that uh, if I get um, some more alkathene pipe and some proper supports then uh, this netting should still fit on these beds even though it's uh, you know an extra foot or so higher. So while we're here so I take a look at the grass which is coming on pretty well. The areas that I've put patch seed on are all sprouting nicely now. Of course the weeds are something to behold but uh, we'll soon cut those off. Probably when I get back from my holiday uh, in a week or so, yeah, a week and a bit's time that will be ready for cutting and the weeds will get their first trim. I also popped in some, um, what have we got in here, courgettes under that one, and butternut squash under that one. And I put these covers on mostly because of the wind. The wind's really getting up over the next 24 hours, so I thought I'd give them a bit of early protection. Other than that, that's everything that's going on on Jenny's plot. Everything's growing. Um, all the beans are up. All the onions are showing a bit of green. All the broad beans that we had are up. We didn't have enough to finish to full those. Uh, those broad beans are looking pretty good. Quite pleased with those. No sign of black flight at the moment, I don't think. All the main crop potatoes are up. And ironically, the first earlies and earlies, which were planted way too late to be first earlies or earlies, are coming up a bit slower. But they are gradually making an appearance. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased. For the first year, with a late start, it's done okay. And now at least the Baskers might survive. Dread to think what would have happened if I'd have gone away on holiday and come back in a week's time and found all those Brassicas munched by the pigeons. I would not have been happy. Anyway, I'm happy now, so all's good. Thanks. So I'm heading back to my plot now. A little bit of a challenge there as well. Only a, a bit of a challenge. The wind my wonderful peas getting a bit battered around so I'll show you that as well so these are the peas and they're doing really nicely but as you can see on the windsock up there quite a bit of wind and it's building up as well and getting worse so uh, the peas are just outgrowing their support structure so I've just put this little uh, support on here hammered these stakes into the ground and then just screwed them to the frame there. They're pretty pretty rigid now. 
and then just put a, ba a batten across the top and it's just supporting the beans nicely they were really bending over quite badly but uh, they don't look too bad now so I'm fairly confident that uh, this will be enough for them to survive the wind just give you a quick uh, show round of my plot and things that I've just been doing doing a lot of bed clearance at the moment most things have done their they've had their winter crop and they've had their early spring crop and that's I'm taking all of that out of the ground now preparing the summer crops so uh, to show you so this bed was my uh, overwintered beets and um, lettuce and that's out now and that's all planted up with uh, beets again and chard and celery uh, this was overwintered no, no this was spring lettuce and that's finished now and so I've replaced that with my summer lettuce this bed was early brassicas mainly uh, and a bit of chard that got a bit ragged so I've replanted that with new chard uh, just seedlings that I've got kicking around in the greenhouse they really need to be planted I've got some beets which I've just left in there um, they won't interfere with the chard uh, and I had a little bit of gap at the back there so I just put a row of radish in as well and then this bed was spinach and it was past its best I've still got plenty of spinach for example I've got a bed there and I've got two other half beds so I took that bed up and popped in carrots and there's some parsnips here as well and I did pop a row of radish in there just between the parsnips and the carrots there's a row of radish and, and obviously that will be out before the parsnips are big enough to interfere with the carrots so that's pretty good and I've also you can see put a row of carrots very close to those lettuce because again those lettuce will all be gone by the time those carrots are anywhere near uh, interfering with them and I'll just point out that this bed of uh, spinach will also soon be gone and that will be replaced by more carrots so I've got uh, a new spinach bed coming on here and it's starting to grow nicely uh, interplanted with radish and I'm currently picking just started picking this radish bed which is really lovely do get a tiny bit of damage on some of these um, from the wood lice but then that's the price to pay for convenience and it doesn't affect the taste and most of them are fine just the odd one so I think that is the news for today and we had our first beans yesterday and uh, they were the broad beans and they were fantastic really tender and sweet and we've got loads on I'll just show you those so here's the broad beans growing very nicely of course these are only the baby ones we're not picking those yet but uh, there's plenty of pretty beefy beans down here and yeah so we're, we're picking those about every other day now I think we'll be we'll be picking them this bed was not very well designed in theory I had walkways down this uh, two walkways down there to pick from but uh, the beans all collapsed uh, because we, they just grew so big um, and over winter the, the winds were so bad uh, and I have got string in there to support them but that was too low down so basically lots of lessons learned for next year but this is the problem when you're a first year gardener you really don't know what you're doing so everything is a learning experience but that said there are beans and so who cares looks a bit of a mess but they eat and they taste just as good 
they're just a bit acrobatics to pick them. Now another exciting news, um, we have our first summer broccoli. There she is, I'll show you now. You might not be able to see it very well through the netting, but uh, if I lift it up, there is the first of the summer broccoli. So I'll be picking that, maybe tomorrow. I'm just going to show off now, I'm going to show off my compost bins. So I uh, rejuvenated the first one that I'll show you, and I built the second one from scratch um, on Friday, I think it was. Let's see how they're getting on. So this is the bin that I rejuvenated by giving it a good turn. I actually consolidated uh, a couple of bins into this one and it's doing pretty nicely. So I don't know exactly what that is but about 45 degrees centigrade um, and it continues to warm. So this one is definitely back full of life and I'm pretty pleased about that getting a bit too hot for comfort for the worms probably but uh, unfortunately there's not much I can do about that and the next one I built from scratch so this is basically green waste from the plot and grass and horse manure and that one is about know, 68 degrees centigrade just a little bit too hot a little bit too much fungus growing in there perhaps um, but it was a little bit hotter than that yesterday so it's starting to cool down 65 is about the optimum this bed is very warm everything is warm <laughs> so uh, quite interesting even the sides are lovely and warm yes but, uh, Bed's doing well and I can't keep up with it. It's sinking faster than I can keep filling it. So it's pretty active. I just love hot composting. As I'm watching those temperature gauges going up, I'm thinking, yep, all those seeds are dying, all those weed seeds are dying. Okay, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm back just with one more little uh, bit of news, just because I can't resist. So I am really pleased to say that my beans are now up in this bed as well. And the way that I've done it this year is I've got, this bed is pretty big as you can see, quite wide. Um, and so I've left enough room to put a row of dwarf beans down the outside and runner beans down the inside. So I'm hoping that these dwarf beans will sort of grow up like this um, and not interfere at all really with the runner beans. Um, they're kind of interplanted roughly, but everything's up. The dwarf beans are up and the runner beans are up. So uh, I'm really happy. And you can see my uh, living bean frame is still growing and I don't let it get out of hand. I'm constantly pulling these off but uh, it's building roots and I, I want it to build roots because it's a big frame and it needs to uh, support a lot of weight so I'm happy for it to be well established in the ground. I have just picked one of my um, garlic as a test uh, just to check that there's no mould, fungus, whatever on it and it looked superb so there's no problem with that and I've started picking onions so these are my overwintered onions and they are also in lovely condition so some of these are now ready for picking and I'm going to leave them on top of this mesh to dry so I'll probably do that tomorrow and that I think definitely is the end of this quick daily update Hope you enjoyed it please subscribe if you did and uh, give me a like apparently these likes are pretty important to uh, make sure other people get to see these videos and so yeah if you can give me a like that would be much appreciated